Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Light Elegant Summer Collection 2017. These are called these are called the Summer Buzz. I got these from Arts Desire Beauty Pro and Arts Desire is in Victoria, BC, Canada. They offer gel and acrylic. They carry Light Elegance Fusion and a few other gels and they also carry my favorite line Glam and Glitz which I use a lot in lots of my videos and my nail trainer hand. They also carry this so um, you can check out their website and find some of the stuff there. So you can pre-order these on Arts Desire's website. These aren't out until May 1st so I'm just going to show you a quick little demo and show you what these colors look like up close because they're super pretty and I'm going to show you some ways you can work with these with acrylic because I know that some people are acrylic techs but they still want to try some of these out and you can actually do hybrid nails and mix the two. Um, I've taken both a gel and acrylic course so I know how to use both so it's kind of fun to mix up your colors, change things up, try new things so I'm just going to show you some few things with that and let's get started right now. So I'm just going to quickly show you some of these colors. This one's called Queen Bee by Light Elegance. I've already been playing with it a little bit. This is what it looks like on the swatch there. Um, the cool thing about Light Elegance is they come with a swatch sticks already and the names of each of them so you'll know which one's which, which is really convenient for storage and organization. So that's what Queen Bee looks like. It's just a nice pigmented purple. Um, I love purple in general. Next up we have Yellow Jacket. This one is a bright yellow. In the pot it looks like a darker yellow, a honeyer yellow tone, but it turned out to be more neon. The next one I'm going to show you is called the Bee's Knees. This one is a very, very beautiful coral. In my camera setting, it looks a little lighter than it is in person. It's quite, um, it's like a medium coral in person. So when I'm done showing you the colors, I'm gonna show you how you can work with these with acrylic. Next up is None of Your Beeswax. It's like a perfect Tiffany blue. Now we have Let's Pollinate. This one was one of the sheerest out of the six pigmented colors, but it's still a really nice um, reddy, orangey coral color. Uh, I think that a lot of you guys would really like this color and your clients would enjoy it. And the next one I'm going to show you is Show Me the Honey. It is a very pretty, almost nude pink. I've made it matte just to show you it matte. This is what it looks like matte. I used um, Light Elegance uh, Flat Matte for that. So I went ahead and applied a thin layer of plain nude acrylic. So I'm just going to show you some things you can do to use these colors if you're a nail tech who does acrylic. You can mix gel and acrylic together, a lot of people don't know that. So I'm just going to show you, um, I'm going to encapsulate a design with this. So I'm just going to show you more of like a marble effect using some of these colors. And I'm using Light Elegance number 4 oval brush. Make sure to wipe with alcohol before picking up from the other pots. So that's how this marble turned out before curing. I wanted to kind of do a gradient effect of like the blue and the nude and the purple and then at the bottom do red and orange and yellow. So I thought that that would be just kind of fun for spring. I'm just going to cure this and then I will cap it in clear acrylic. Okay so this has been cured and now I'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer. And since it's a little uh, shiny, I'm just going to do a little buff on it really lightly before applying my clear acrylic. So now I'm going to encapsulate this. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll file it. So 
So that's how that looks after filing, and I'm just gonna put top coat on and show you guys the finished result. <laughs> so that's that, it kinda looks like a jawbreaker if you added some white in there. But anyways, the point I was trying to get at was that you could use pots of hard gels uh, with acrylic and encapsulate it and do anything that you can do as a gel nail tech inside of acrylic It might take you a couple minutes longer, but the result is really cool moving on so Next I wanted to show you the glitter portion of the summer 2017 the summer buzz pack So first I'll start off with bumble So I'm not gonna lie my favorite thing in the world to do is watch people stir gel so I'm just gonna do that for you guys So this color is a glittery blue as the main color. It looks like it is a clear based gel but has little holographic glitters in it mixed with some solid pink and blues and light blue. It's really pretty. And that was called Bumble. Next I'm gonna show you is the Sting. I already took a look at all these because I just couldn't help myself. This one is a coral. It is sparkly, so if you look really closely, it has tiny little orange and pink matte sparkles. So I'm just gonna stir this for you guys. The next one I'm gonna share with you is Get Buzzed. So this one is a super sparkly kind of mauvey purple. With holographic rainbow glitter in it. So again, I'm gonna show you how you can use these glitter pots with acrylic, but I'm gonna finish off. There's three more to show you. The next is Happy Hive. Ooh, so this one's a more of a fuchsia glitter and it's got chunky holographic silver in it. And blue, it's got blue in it too. But a lot more pink. And some red. It's just full of color. <laughs> the next one I'm gonna show you is Little Beezy. It is a iridescent and white glitter. It has chunky white glitter. This would be really cool to do a geode nail with. That geode trend, this would be sweet for that. This is so pretty. And last but not least, my freaking favorite one. Be in your bonnet. It is so pretty. Oh God. This reminds me of when I used to get my nails done and my nail tech was a gel nail tech before I ever did nails. She had colors similar to this and I just died every time I saw them. They're so pretty. So this one is a very, very light baby pink with, oh God, it's so pretty. With super fine iridescent glitters. Oh, I'm dying over this. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna put this on top of a finished nail and show you what that looks like because these could definitely be used with acrylic. So I'm gonna start that right now and if you keep watching, you'll see that. So here's a finished filed acrylic nail. This is just a really light pink. So I'm just gonna apply a thin layer of this glitter on top. A lot of times my clients say things like, oh, I love the way gel looks. Why can't acrylic look like that? Because gel's so bright. But you can actually apply gel colors on top of acrylic and get the same effect if you're more comfortable working with acrylic than gel. And then I'm just gonna cure this and then I'll put a top coat on top. And you can really see the sparkle in that. It's really hard to get this kind of look with acrylic because gel brings out 
the colors and shine, whereas acrylic can dull it. So that's why sometimes it's nice to apply gel on gel colors and gel glitters on top of acrylics. If you're more comfortable working with acrylics as your base, um, it's just fun to have other options and other ways to make glittery nails. And now I'm just gonna show you how to encapsulate some of these, just like before, but with the glitters, just cause they're fun to use and why not? So again, here's an acrylic nail. It is just a plain nude and I'm just going to apply and encapsulate some gel into it. So I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna start with Bumble and I'm just going to apply a thin layer of that. And then I'm going to fade up with Get Buzzed. So I'm just gonna cure this layer and then do a second. Okay, so I'm just applying a second layer of that, of these. Oh, it's so beautiful. So again, I'm gonna wipe off the tacky layer and cap this in clear acrylic and again, just file and shape as you normally would an acrylic nail, but this is just another option for colors. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you the finished result. So that's how that looks. And now I'm just gonna top coat. And there you have it. Using mixing gel and acrylic together to create a glitter fade. So there's a lot you can do with gel and acrylic, so don't be scared. And if there's anything else you'd like to see and you want me to show you a hybrid nail on an actual person, let me know in the comment section and I'll try and do that. So there we have it, the Light Elegance Nuke 2017 collection. My favorite of the solid colors is None of Your Beeswax, this beautiful minty blue. And my favorite of the glitters is Be In Your Bonnet. These would actually look really nice together, I'm sure. So don't forget to check out Arts Desire, which I'll have all their information linked below for the pre-order on these Light Elegance 2017 colors. And check out Arts Desire for their upcoming classes and, and any sales or promotions they might have. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments section and let me know what else you guys would like to see. And if you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and Share, comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.